it uh, links your code, uh, checks for errors that are uh, pretty obvious uh, or consistency things. But I like it way more than Rubocop because uh, Rubocop is is limited to just like you know like code style and, and some some things. But this actually gives you uh, more detailed breakdown. So for the, the sake of demo, what I did is I pulled out um, I pulled down an HTTP poison, which is the I think a combination between poison and uh, HTTP. It's a way to like uh, hit HTTP endpoints and get back parse JSON or something like that. Um, and I've got the source code here on the right. Uh, so what I did is I went to the mixyxs and I added credo. Uh, and the really important part here is the 0 0.5 because if you go to the documentation, it'll actually show you 0 0.4 and I should probably open a pull request for that um, after this talk. But, uh, 0 0.4 does not work with the latest and greatest uh, hacks uh, package manager. Uh, it has like, some issues for some reason. But yeah, basically you just copy this, this line and just change that 4 to 5. And, uh, 5 was released 9 days ago, 5.2. Or I guess 19 days ago for 5.1, and then 4.14 was updated maybe to address that issue. Uh, and then 5.2, 9 days ago. That's what I'm using. So, so let's see, if you just go to the readme, uh, first it tells you, well, just run mix credo. That's the most important thing. You get a prioritized list. So let's let's do that right here on HTTP poison and see how it does. Uh, I think it's getting cut off, so I'm gonna move the screen a little bit. There we go. So I have it installed, I did the depths get and do mix credo. Got back a giant list. So um, it's divided into like multiple areas. One is code readability, and that talks a lot about documentation. Obviously, like um, having module docs, um, and uh, you know, just like documentation for everything. Uh, refactoring opportunities, and this is my favorite part personally because. Uh, it tells you when you have psychomactic uh, complexity, if I'm saying that right. Um, for example, uh, on lib HTTP poison base ex338, uh, there is something going on. So uh, we'll, we'll go into that specific spot in, in a second. Uh, warnings, uh, variable response is the same name as private function in the same module. Uh, so it can find like things that are a little vague. I can also find things that are like if you have fix me comments in your code, like uh, if you wrote fix me or to do's, it'll let you know about those in there. Uh, and then finally, some consistency. So, uh, and that's really cool too. I really like that. But I know some people are like, I don't care about that type of stuff. So let's let's jump there. What file was that? Base ex. So uh, base ex. Uh, to so. so what's going on here? Uh, it told me that there was like some inconsistency with, uh, so, so look at this. Uh, for this uh, map, or I'm not really sure what this is like, a, it's a composite type or something. Tuple. Is it a tuple? Yeah, they're saying the second element can be one of two. One of two, yeah. yeah. So you can like a union type, I guess. Uh, so anyway, uh, there's no space between the, the atom here and the bracket, but here there is. And so it's telling you, well, it seems like everywhere else you're not doing that, so let, let's do what you're doing, right? Like, let's pick one and stick with it. Uh, so that's another thing that I like. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, so other things would be like, uh, a lot of those are the same, and this is not the full list by the way, uh, this will tell you like the statistics at the end, and if you want the full list, then you can do like minus minus strict, uh, which I think gives you really everything, like all spelled out. Uh, and if you're not sure about what something is, this is something really cool, right? So I can go uh, on 
this. This function is too complex. So let's take this specific thing. And if you go to credo minus minus help, uh, you will see all the different things that, uh, that are available to you. Like, for example, categories. If you want to learn more about uh, what type of things uh, credo checks for. And so these are like the, the bigger uh, sections, like to do's, fix me's, and technical debt, stuff like that. Uh, it checks also if you call IXPRI, uh, which is nice. And then if I wanted to explain something, this is another really cool thing. So I can say explain, and paste this in, and I get a full on explanation. This is something that Google Cop or any other library really doesn't have. So uh, the problem here is the function is too complex. So you look at what function it is, and then it tells you what that means. Psychomatic complexity, software complexity, metric closely correlated with coding errors. Um, and it tells you how to configure it too. So there's a config file, and you can just copy this thing. And if you are wondering like what's the max, uh, how do I set the max complexity, it will tell you what variables it takes in. Really nicely spelled out. It almost feels like kind of like the Elm compiler where everything is like spelled out to you. So you don't have to think about it too much. Um, let's see what else is here. So let's jump to this method and see why it's uh, psychometrically complex. So. Can I do that? No. Thanks, Ben. This is the type of method where you have, it's, it's pretty gnarly, it's pretty big, maybe, maybe it's like, it's kind of like how it has to be, but there's a, it seems like there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of like ternary ifs. Um, I'm kind of glad it caught that, right? And so there's a lot going on here, and maybe there's a potential for a factor, uh, and I don't know if the, um, the rules of like solid apply to some degree to Elixir, where single responsibility right, for one method only do one thing uh, instead of all the things. So, yeah, so it's, it's a really cool tool. I highly recommend it. That's basically all I have for you, but unless you have any questions. Can we figure out how to get back to this function? Man, we have to know what this function does. <laughs> for the I'm not sure. Um, I know. Usually, when we pair, I'm, I'm like the one that says, uh, "Let's just let's just do it." Right. And you're the one. Let's read the code. Um, but yeah, it looks like it it builds like an options. I think we can do it. File. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering. There's more stuff to credit that I haven't looked at. Like. So it's got a gen check, so you can create a custom check, apparently. Uh, and you can decide on your own rules. Uh, you can initialize a new config file. Uh, and the config file is actually really simple. Uh, the really cool thing is, like, if you look at the documentation, it'll tell you why something matters. And this, to me, is a big thing. So a lot of times, you'll you'll be like the bad cop and you'll come in and you'll like enforce all those rules and you like attach it to your build continuous integration and uh, all your developers will hate you but then you uh, um, well this is why it matters and you just copy and paste <laughs> that's great and they hate you just a little bit less um, yeah this is how you configure it it's, it's kind of like an uh, EXS file it looks like JSON but it's made out of uh, And suggest. Let's look at that. What does, what does that do? Oh, so this is like basically runs it. I don't know. 
stuff like using uh, single quotes instead of double quotes and stuff like that. Um, doesn't seem like this one has it. Um, and I don't know if it's because Elixir is more complex. Although you have the compiler, so you would think maybe you can rely on that. It seems dangerous though. It seems dangerous. I've never had issues with uh, Rubocop doing that for That you know of. That I <laughs> exactly. get. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, I mean, that's really a good version of Right. People love Google for uh, Golang format. Yeah, Golang. Yeah, Golang. Yeah. Yeah. People, people love that. Nothing. <coughs> Elm has that too. <coughs> yeah. I, I love it, but I had too many issues where um, I would save the file for small things and it would just like, like mess up the whole thing. And I was like, why? Stop it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the floor is open. We still have time, so if you wanna jump in and talk, please do. Let's talk. 